Hey guys, it's Phoenix. This is kind of a weird one, but I've had a lot of requests related to creepers and making them creepy. This idea came from Super Coney JN98, and they wanted me to make spider creepers, so ones that can climb the walls. So I'm going to summon a normal creeper, like that, and I'm going to go into survival mode, and now that creeper's going to start chasing me. And it's got red eyes and red mouth and everything because it's kind of like a spider. And watch what happens when, yeah, you see that now. It's going to climb the wall and literally, well, I don't know why it looked back there, but it's really hard to get away from this guy. Well, there you go. I'm not going to die because I have resistance here, but, you know, pretty scary. So you can see that I have given it a really large um, follow distance. So it's going to see you from very far away. I'll demonstrate that again later, but, okay, it's not going to explode there, but now it's going to explode like so. Still not going to die. So there's the creeper, very far away. It can still track me even though it is very far away from me. I, I gave it a really long, I think 150 blocks, like any horror movie, red eyes, demonic creeper, and it will just explode once it gets close to you. You can see now that I've revealed it, it is dinner bone. So the secret is right here, for this creeper to be able to do what it's doing, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what it's doing right now, but um, I modified its follow range from I believe it's 16 blocks, I know zombies have a much larger follow range, to about 150, because I made a very long strip of, of stone where I would be able to test if the creeper can see me from all the way back there, and it can, uh, because I've loaded these chunks, um, I gave myself resistance here, that's saturation, and the creeper will have a dinner bone name tag whenever it is close to this wall, and I've rotated it 90 degrees instead of 180. So if you remember from my Minecraft glitch video that I uploaded uh, this Monday, and that may have messed up a lot of the models which caused the glitch. I still cannot really tell if that was the case because it's happened to a lot of people as I've seen in the comments. But I did have to rotate it, so I'm going to push it against the wall right here. And I had to translate it. Without doing that, it's not going to be in the center of the block. And as you can see, because this is in 1.12, it's so easy to just affect every single one of them with a single command. You can do that in 1.13 as well, but I don't know what that creep is doing. Yeah, he can see me now. But now they have formed a single file and are ready to explode upon me, well, against me, every single time they reach me. So, this is kind of fun. Um, obviously, it's stuff of nightmares, but I know this is going to happen, and that's really the case with a lot of, whoa, a lot of, you know, horror movies depend upon the element of surprise. I'm not really surprised in this case, and that is the end of it all. So that was kind of fun. I thought about, you know, putting a spider on the creeper, so it's like an actual creeper spider, but I realized it wouldn't work with the translation of the mobs, they wouldn't rotate properly, they'd all be stacked on top of each other, so it wouldn't actually make sense. The spider would be over here, even though it'd be flipped properly, it wouldn't look right. Anyway, thank you all for watching, leave a like, subscribe for more creative content, take care.